After decades of turmoil stemming from the Cold War rivalry between the West and Soviet Union, Afghanistan is finally beginning to build its own economy and infrastructure with international assistance. For most of the past five decades, Afghans suffered extreme poverty as the country lacked even basic necessities such as roads, clean water, irrigation, electricity, internet, and so many other needs that most nations possess. Currently, the Afghan government is focused on major projects that can benefit the whole population through job creation, as unemployment and low wages affect over 60% of households struggling to afford food. Let's now take a look at some of the top Afghan mega-projects. In 2008, it was clear that Kabul was deteriorating despite being the only decently developed city, ballooning from 700,000 in the mid-1980s to 3-plus million people after the 2001 US invasion led internal refugees to relocate to Kabul. Although the $15 billion Kabul New City project launched in 2008 was never implemented, the government finalized plans in 2023 and started distributing land to families with construction of water, power, sewage and roadworks underway but lacking funds. However, in August 2023, the government signed a deal with Kawa Construction Company to build housing and infrastructure for 3 million residents across the 40,000 hectare site in northern Kabul, drawn from several districts. The city is being built in the Dehsabs district and would also include some areas from Shakadara, Karabakh, Istalif and Kalakan districts. The project would be implemented in two phases. Each phase would take 15 years. During the first phase, 2,500 homes for over 1 million people would be built. This enormous urban development is forecast to generate around 1.2 million jobs in public and private sectors. The original sustainable design by French firm Architecture Studio preserves natural resources like water and energy while enabling access to education and jobs. As people move into the new city, downtown Kabul will also be rehabilitated. The Afghan government has also opened the door for foreign private investments in this project via the independent board of Kabul New City Development, which is not controlled by the government and the international sanctions do not apply to this board. Another major project involves Afghanistan's central location between China, Iran, Pakistan and Central Asian states. The Kaf Herat Railway is part of a proposed $2 billion five-nation railway corridor running through Iran, Afghanistan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan and China over 2,000 kilometers, connecting to India via the China-Kyrgyzstan-Uzbekistan line. This will link to China's Xinjiang industrial region and via China's Belt and Road Initiative connect to the Middle East, Africa, Europe, Australia, and South America. In May 2023, Afghanistan and Iran completed the first trial run of the Kaf Herat section, shipping 17 rail wagons with 655 tons of equipment for further construction. The Kaf Herat line comprises 140 kilometers in Afghanistan and 85 kilometers in Iran. Once this railway is completed and linked to other nations that are building their own sections, Afghanistan will benefit as it becomes a goods and commodities transportation hub while also capitalizing on the railway by using it for speedy and safe export of its own products and commodities which are currently exported exclusively by haul trucks. In more good news, on May 6, 2023, Pakistan and China announced major investments to integrate Afghanistan into China's Belt and Road Initiative of railways and highways between China and Europe, and also Middle East and Africa. This includes maritime gateways to South America and Australia, creating a comprehensive global transportation network to facilitate trade by cutting shipping times and costs. The China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, CPEC, will now officially extend into Afghanistan. 
For cash-strapped Afghanistan, this means hundreds of millions in direct indirect aid from China and partners, plus direct access to Asian, European, African, and South American markets. Attracting industrial activities and manufacturing with its substantial mineral deposits, Afghanistan can become a regional business and transportation hub within two decades. To fulfill its role as a Belt and Road partner, the 285 kilometers long, 152 meter wide, 8.5 meter deep, Kosh Tapa Canal in northern Afghanistan will enable agricultural exports to the 3 billion plus people in regional markets like China and India. Currently half complete, the canal provides water to millions of Afghans while enabling thousands of farmers to grow grains and wheat across 55,000 hectares. By 2028, Afghanistan aims to become a wheat and produce exporter. If successfully completed, over 1 million Afghans will benefit economically from this longest artificial river in the world, enabling Afghanistan to fill train cars with exports. Many other mega-projects are ongoing or planned, like hydropower dams to end droughts and famine, the Kyasa 1000 electricity project, and mining contracts and natural resources. According to expert estimates, Afghanistan holds huge mineral deposits. 60 million tons of copper, 2.2 billion tons of iron ore, 1.4 million tons of rare earth elements, plus aluminum, gold, silver, zinc, mercury, and lithium. In August 2023, over $6.5 billion of mining contracts were signed with local and foreign companies from China, Iran, Turkey, and Britain. The Tapi gas pipeline will provide cheap energy to planned gas power stations, ending electricity poverty. Despite its tumultuous history, Afghanistan is gradually embracing these mega-projects as catalysts for economic growth, improved living standards, and increased connectivity on regional and global scales. These initiatives, when successfully executed, have the potential to uplift Afghanistan from its challenging past and pave the way for a more prosperous future. Through its mega-projects, Afghanistan can hopefully overcome its painful history and progress towards stability, human rights, and prosperity.